Hi everyone, I'm going to be showing you how I changed the upper control arm for the binding issue I was having. Also going to redo the shims on the rear shocks and we're going to mock up the front end control arms to see how it all fits together. Coming up. So I wanted to give you an update. Um, so as you saw in the last video as I was putting some of this together, I was getting a uh, binding issue over here. And it turns out that the way they make this side of the differential and what they make here, they've beefed this up and that's pushed this out further. And so the uh, upper control arm is actually hitting the differential. So what I had to do was actually modify and actually trim down. So one side you can see there's a nice you know, I don't know, half inch. And the other side, it took just a millimeter off. And that has allowed me to have full clearance without hitting here. And of course, I notified Factory 5 of the new new issue that's happening and uh, they're you know sending it out to their engineers. Um, but, uh, so that means I'm gonna have to paint this part again too, uh, even though it's powder coated. And I'm probably gonna take maybe these uh, lower control arms and upper control arms and do them in the uh, the color scheme that I'm doing for the firewall and the front suspension. So that might be cool and then still leave this black. Um, so that's what's going on there. Uh, so hopefully I'll get that in today. And then also I noticed that uh, I didn't put the right shims in for the shocks here, which you know takes five seconds to take out. But um, the one thing I'm kind of realizing is with the heat that's in here, it's just been over the top and I can't think. It's almost like claustrophobia. It's just like on top of you. And so what I'm noticing is that when I go back in the house, I could read the manual again. And when I do, I could follow up with what I did today and make sure that I did it right because uh, I was thinking straight at the time I was doing it. So it's just a, a cool way of verifying stuff. Uh, I also ended up getting that cooler in here and I have it off right now just uh, uh, so you could hear me talk. But, you know, I had it on for like 10 minutes, it already dropped 2 degrees. Right now it's 100, 102 degrees and it dropped it down to 100. And so I'm sure in the next 10, 15 minutes it's going to drop it down even further. But uh, we're going to pop that back on and uh, we're going to re-go through some of this stuff and get it hooked up. Well, I can't finish this part of it because I either don't have the right bolts or the manual's actually referencing spacers and stuff that I actually don't have. So I'm gonna to try to move on to something else.
Well, it wasn't too bad putting the uh, upper control arm stuff together, except for those grommets, since there's no grease or anything in there. It was actually kind of a bitch to get them back out of the raw metal. Uh, but at least I know I have all the parts and how it goes together. And I actually left some of it together, so I don't have to deal with the uh, left-handed screw-on nuts compared to right-hand screw-on nuts and things like that, so it's all kind of laid out. Uh, so the next step is to get those parts painted, hopefully, and then uh, get that stuff on the car. Till next time, have a great day.